Alrighty, here we are. Just arrived at Kalahari Water Park. Beautiful sunny morning in November, late November. Um, got these hotels, giant hotel. One side over there, one side over here. The playground right there. <clears throat> here we got valet parking, 30 bucks a night. You get to park a little bit closer, but not that much. Not worth 30 bucks. At least today. Take a look here. So this is coming up on the front of the resort. Nice area here. Look, they have a lit up giraffe right here. It's not lit up, but at night I imagine. Looks good. Beautiful area. This is where you'd pull up, drop off all your stuff. Pretty sweet. It is dark. Well, it looks like a pretty good line at check-in. Check it out. Nice lobby. Beautiful. Well, that's the coffee and pastry place. People waiting for their breakfast. What do we got over here? Check-in begins here. All right. Well, not really a long line. A lot of people leaving, looks like. All right, let's see how this goes. We'll see how smooth this goes. All right, uh, quick update after checking in. Um, wow really good customer service um so long story short we had two rooms booked one is a two-bedroom suite and the other is a uh, uh was a single room and we had a bunch of uh people staying and and unfortunately a bunch of them couldn't make it so uh day of it's 10 a.m supposed to check in at 4 p.m tonight at 10 a.m they let me cancel my reservation and refunded it to my card um I was under the assumption that they were just going to give me a credit for future use, but they actually refunded the card, um, which is really generous policy the day of. And then we just added me to uh, the, the bigger room, the two bedroom suite room that we have re reserved, and that was only 50 bucks. So got $320 back and spent $50 to add me to the bigger room. So a really generous policy there. Great customer service at the, at the uh, check-in desk. Super easy. Got my pad. Got my uh, water park wristband um, before everybody else got here, and it's just been uh, uh, so far. Only been here five minutes, but it's been a great experience so far. All right, before we head down to the water park, we're gonna take a quick tour around here. Uh, this is right where you come in, right here, front uh, front entrance. When you walk in, immediately you see Java Manjaro, um, coffee place, pastries. Pretty big line in the morning this morning. Here we got the last bite. Got a lot of nice, uh, looks like some sweets. A lot of sweets here. Not very busy right now, but it looks wonderful. Looks wonderful. Uh, then we got the Marketplace Buffet. So they got a great Karoo Buffet. Looks like it's pretty hopping for breakfast right now. Um, not huge, but uh, looks like the buffet's pretty good there. Sensory overload for the kids here. It's amazing. Just another way to spend some money. Look at this halo. Holy cow. It's impressive. This is the, the prize trunk where you <laughs> pick up the prizes that you win here at the arcade. Well, I'm sure you can win a lot of tickets. Little Mario go around. This is like, <laughs> it's kind of, it's like a casino, but for kids, you know? All right, here is where you do your thing. Not sure how it. All right, we got through there pretty easily. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, they, dude, they got a VR water slide. That's crazy. Check this out. Oh, and it's steamy in here. We are definitely in the water park. 
and it is warm. Oh, this is gonna fog up right away. Wow. All right. Let's just look around for a minute. Look at this. Crazy. I love it. That's the uh, kind of the kids' wet part. Oh man, look at some of these slides way up in the ceiling. Amazing. And it is warm as all get out here, man. Warm as all get out. All right, so here we got the Lazy River. Pretty cool. That's where you come in right over there by the lockers. Lockers are pretty easy to figure out. Kind of expensive, 30 bucks for a full day uh, for a large locker. Uh, that looks pretty wicked up there. Looks like a tube ride or, you know, where you're on a uh, raft or something, I'm not sure. Uh, definitely like the splash park over here. Certainly gonna put in uh, some steps today walking around. Tube. Let's grab a single tube and see what's up. We're gonna try out. We're gonna try out the rippling rhino. Single tube ride, double tube ride. Since I'm by myself right now, we're gonna do a single tube. Hey, thumbs up. Good luck. Thanks. I'm gonna splash you. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and two non-tube rides. Just did the tube ride, it was crazy. Now we're gonna do the non-tube ride. basically end up going backwards head first into this seven foot pool so there's not kidding when you say you got to be a strong swimmer like it's wild uh would not recommend it for anyone that's not confident in their swim skills like super fun though really fast all right let's take a look at uh some of the rest of the stuff coming up on the wave pool here um look they got tons of life vests here for the little ones if you need it going good we're gonna hop in there real quick see what's up see what kind of waves we get going here i don't know if it just started with the waves or oh looks like i just caught the end it stopped the wave pool stopped let's check out the temperature all right not bad not bad oh uh, here's uh kind of the far end of the park right here yeah that up there that's the that's the way you come in is over there this is kind of the far end of the park a bunch of slides over here uh i think i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go check uh check this stuff out right up here
once my grandkids showed up to the park, I uh, spent a little time filming them and uh, filming them going on some uh, rides. Here they are on the uh, Lazy River, and then Remy goes on a few slides here. So it comes some of the kitty slides in the park. After this, uh, he did, I think, one more, and then um, we went up to the big people slides for him. He's only five, and it was fun. Here I am uh, with my daughter going down a really fast tube slide. It was super, super fun. We had a good time. And then after this, uh, ended up going down again with, uh, with Remy, the five-year-old, and he loved it. I'm going to give you a cool room tour. This is room 7236, Kalahari. It's a two bedroom suite. The technology is so cool, dude. You just hit your uh, wrist band, door opens. First things first, there's a bathroom right when you walk in. Full bath in there. Beautiful sink and uh, vanity mirror here with a hair dryer, bunch of uh, toiletries. And over here, we got a Another sink, giant mirror, pretty big fridge, nice size mini fridge, microwave, cups. Then over here, we got the first bedroom. It is two queen beds, beautiful, with its own door. Out here, we got a lovely living room, uh, little table for three, beautiful leather couch and a leather chair. Looks like it might be a recliner, uh, fireplace, TV over here, beautiful. Then uh, in here is the second bedroom, which is the full king-size bed, also with its own bathroom. Both bedrooms have their own bathrooms, in addition to the bathroom when you first walk in. Let me go back and uh, show you the bathroom over here. Actually, there is no bathroom over here. I got that all wrong. Wait, did I? Well, yeah, but hold on. Oh, there's a closet here. So they do not, the double queen, does not have the bathrooms, does not have a bathroom attached to the room. It's got a, it's got one right out here that's kind of the common bathroom. Um, giant tub, toilet, wonderful with the amenities. All right guys, uh, just a quick update. Um, it's now the next morning. Um, so last night we went to the uh, Italian restaurant here um, and we didn't have high expectations except for we knew the prices were expensive. Um, but I gotta tell you, uh, the food was really, really good. It, it, it was it was pricey. Um, yeah, I got a, a I got like a seafood, like a spicy seafood uh, diavolo, and uh, um, it was like thirty two bucks. Which you know, at any decent Italian restaurant, you're gonna pay that. Um, we were just worried that it wasn't gonna be a decent Italian restaurant, but it was good. It was good. Um, really, everyone that we had. Uh, Ooh. Oh, we had seven people and um, everybody was really happy with what they got. Everything from entrees, uh, appetizers to uh, dessert. Like everybody really liked what we had. Um, uh, it was pretty mellow. There weren't, it was a Monday, it was, I'm sorry, it was Sunday night. There weren't that many people in the place. Maybe, maybe 10 parties total. Um, so, Waitress was uh, really attentive, uh, really good. Server um, was really attentive, really good. Um, let's see, what else? Um, day at the water park was great. It was pretty crowded. It was, uh, you know, it was a Sunday before Thanksgiving. So, um, you know, definitely crowded. Uh, today's, uh, today's Monday. Um, I think it's gonna be a lot less crowded at the park. Uh, you'll see that. In the video hopefully reflected in that um, again the rooms are really nice uh, 
uh, bed's a little soft. I don't know. Um, I sleep on a uh, on a wedge for my uh, shoulder arthritis, but uh, so it kind of negates whether a bed's good or bad. But I could feel it's it's a really soft bed, um, which I like a little bit of firmer firmer bed. Um, plenty of pillows, um, plenty of uh, toiletries here. There were just in just in my bathroom for just me. There were three sets of lotion, conditioner, and shampoo. And, and hand soap um but yeah overall uh, really impressed with the place um again it's, it's pricey but you, you are getting what you pay for i think here you know um and again the customer service and uh, um you know all the workers here have been uh really great so there you go we'll let you know uh let you know a little more after uh today's visit to the water park maybe we'll do some arcade stuff too okay guys just to wrap this up quickly <laughs> Day two at the water park, uh, I ended up, I, I must have the evening before lost the waterproof door to my GoPro. So um, all the cool and different slides that I went down that day uh, were kind of lost. And I really didn't feel like using the GoPro mod, the media mod in the in the park um, right then. I don't know, just not being able to find that door kind of put a damper on everything. So uh, wasn't able to shoot anything on day two really. Um, but uh, overall, great park. Uh, good value, I think. Um, especially, I think, if you can go during the week and during off times, the rooms are incredibly affordable and you get a lot of value. That water park is really fun, especially, you know, for the kids. Uh, um, it was a great time. Uh, I, I definitely recommend Kalahari.